How farmers protect their crops from pests and diseases. Farming is an essential practice that provides food and other products to meet the needs of society. However, farmers face numerous challenges, including pests and diseases that can damage crops and impact yields. In this video, we will explore how farmers protect their crops from pests and diseases. Before we continue, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as this helps to support the channel. Let's begin. Crop Rotation Crop rotation is a technique used by farmers to reduce the buildup of pests and diseases in the soil. By rotating crops, farmers can break the life cycle of pests and diseases, reducing their populations in the soil. This technique also helps to maintain soil fertility by balancing nutrient demands of different crops. Integrated Pest Management Integrated Pest Management IPM, is a comprehensive approach to pest and disease management. IPM involves monitoring crops for signs of pests and diseases, implementing cultural practices to reduce pest populations, and using biological, chemical, and physical control measures only when necessary. IPM helps to reduce the use of pesticides and other chemicals, minimizing negative environmental impacts. Genetic resistance. Farmers can also use crop varieties that are resistant to specific pests and diseases. These varieties have been developed through selective breeding or genetic engineering to have natural defenses against specific pests and diseases. This technique can be an effective way to reduce the use of pesticides and other chemicals. Use of pesticides and other chemicals. Pesticides and other chemicals can be used as a last resort when other methods of pest and disease management have been unsuccessful. However, farmers must use these chemicals carefully to minimize negative environmental impacts. They need to follow safety guidelines and apply pesticides at the appropriate time to minimize damage to beneficial insects and other organisms. Proper sanitation. Proper sanitation practices, such as cleaning equipment and removing crop debris, can also help to reduce the spread of pests and diseases. By removing potential breeding sites for pests and diseases, farmers can reduce their populations in the field. In conclusion, farmers use a variety of techniques to protect their crops from pests and diseases. Crop rotation, integrated pest management, genetic resistance, use of pesticides and other chemicals, and proper sanitation practices are just a few of the methods used to manage pests and diseases. By using a combination of these techniques, farmers can reduce crop losses and maintain sustainable and profitable farming operations. Before we leave, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you next time and thank you for watching.